This is Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV talking to the stars of the upcoming Salt and Pepper film on Lifetime, Gigi Townsend and Leo Odom. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, how Good. are you? So obviously people have been waiting to see this movie for a while. Obviously you've seen the responses on social media once they saw the trailer. Let's go from the get-go. How did this role come about for each of you? Was it something you guys uh, auditioned for or did it come to you? Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, um, no, me and Gigi, we both auditioned. Um, and as actors, you get a lot of, hopefully you get a lot of opportunities to audition. And we, we auditioned and we know that they were seeing a lot of, it was a countrywide search looking for um, salt and pepper. And we auditioned, it, it might've been like a week later, we go in for callback and we go in for producers. Then we go in for director session. And as we got closer, we were asked to do a little bit more, get closer to the character. We had to freestyle in one of the sessions. We had to work with each other. It was a, a mix and match of, of pairing different actresses together. And we went through all that and we were cast. Uh -huh. <laughs> DJ, same response? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was over what, a month and a half of just all of that mixing and matching. And like she said, freestyling, always being kept on our toes, acts to do, you know, plus the eight count, you know, in the room. And <laughs> just, yeah, just all of that to get us or for them to see the now the question as you talked about the audition process now the question is why did you want to do it obviously work is work but why did you want to go out for this one um i'll start with it for me it was there a child like i grew up on this group you know what i mean um i respect what they've done in hip-hop I, res I respect what they've done as women and it was like it just made sense to audition and, and want to play this role on top of the fact that I had a friend who played Bobby Brown in a, in the miniseries on BET and we worked together. We had come up with some content and I remember being on set, like watching him like, wow, that's amazing. I would love to act and rap and dance and do all of those things. And I said it to the universe and look at what happens three years later. Mm -hmm. Gigi? Um, you know, when I first got the audition, you know, I, I didn't grow up on them, but of course I knew who they were. So it, to me, it was an amazing opportunity to even get called in to the audition, you know, cause that oftentimes is, is a blessing in itself. And, you know, definitely don't take anything for granted so get in the audition you know I I just prepared the best way I you know could and went in and, and did my best and you know thought how dope it would be to be a part of you know this little piece of their history you know knowing that they're about to get their star and you know everything that is happening for them you know so it was just an amazing thing to to be a part of their history you know and what's that feeling like when you're embodying people that you're playing that are still alive? It's a different story when somebody's dead and, you know, you're, you're watching old tapes, but these still, you know, uh, Cheryl and Sandy are still alive. Uh, what was that like? And did, were they on set throughout the whole time uh, watching perform? Did they give you, like, input as far as how to play them? Uh, yes, of course. They were on set. But remember, we shot this pre-COVID. So they were still touring. They still had their own professional lives going on. So they came to set. Um, we met with each of, of the ladies respectively of like who we were playing and we pretty much like had our own relationships. And then when we got on set, it would be like a cross-reference. Um, Pep to Salt, which is Gigi, and then Salt to me. So it was it was that type of, of mode of once we were cast then another level started to open up for us to get to know them for us to get them to know their their personalities and bring that to the roles and no it's not easy when someone is five feet away from you and you're playing them 
but it's also really rewarding because you can go right to them and ask them like did i do that right was that correct how do you want this portrayed and i think that it was more so a blessing than than anything else of having them there mm -hmm. how was it for you Gigi? um i i would agree you know it was it was a dope experience to be able to have them on set and, and as hands-on as they were um, and sharing, you know, not just the stories and the real stories behind the scenes that, you know, the world will see, but deeper than that, you know, going further than what we actually got to shoot. Um, and like Layla said, it being a, a cross-reference, like Pep telling me like, yep, that's Cheryl, or, you know, seeing Salt comment on, on Layla, like, you know, it, it was dope that they were both there together and, and you know they're separately and being able to you know co-sign for one another the good thing about this is that it's not a creative to the grave biopic but you do go through a period of time where you, your outfits and your hairstyles are totally changing so how was that like when you're looking when, when you're making a movie and you're not having the same appearance from the beginning to the end <laughs> i think that that's really fun but it that's also like a trip down memory lane in history uh, we had so many different wigs that we that we went through because they they basically set the trends for the decades. They had a certain look of the end of the 80s, the beginning of the 90s, and we just roll with it. Like when I say a lot of wigs, we had a lot of wigs and a lot of hairstyle changes. But I think that that's like the the fun thing of doing a biopic and a biopic that is during a time period. You get to go back and and kind of like embody all of those moments that we like we don't have any idea or clue of but now we do you know what i mean like now now we we do we understand the fashions better we understand the hair better so i think that it was just a really nice addition in addition to playing these women getting to really step inside of their their life at that time and at that time in fashion and, and music and everything it was I don't know, it was, it was it was really, like G said, it was just a dope experience. Gigi, what did you learn, uh, and both of you can answer this, you know, obviously about these women that you did not know before, you know, like I can go to Wikipedia and see some of the stuff that you guys are doing on screen, but then there's some things I didn't know, you know, was there anything that, you know, you either, you said early, you know, you, you didn't grow up on them, but you knew of them. Was there anything more fascinating that you knew about them once you did this movie? Um, yeah, just the, the dynamics between the three of them. So Cheryl to Herbie, Herbie to Pep, you know, sometimes Cheryl being caught in the middle of the two of them and how even though that was going on, the world didn't know, you know, they didn't let the, the drama of what was happening inside of, you know, their own circle be shown to the world or let that, you know, deter the, the assignment that, you know, they had to fulfill. Mm -hmm. How was the choreography once you had to do the dance scenes? I, I know it wasn't no stunt double. <laughs> no, no stunt double. We had a, we had a dope uh, choreographer, Christian Vincent, who lives in LA, but is from Toronto. So we got to work with him twice, like in the dance boot camp of like learning Push It. Push It was the, the longest production that we had. Um, the experience of working with dancers um, and and learning learning a piece from start to finish in different settings, um, different stages, it that in itself was work. But it was worth it and it was fun. Like I, I think a lot of times people don't understand how much work that you have to put into it when you're singing dancing, rapping, acting at the same time. It's not like an easy feat. So that's that's one thing that I definitely take my hat off to the ladies. Like they weren't dancers per se, but they worked their butts off. And I think me and G, we did the same thing too. Yeah. You know, um, obviously each of you have worked on different projects for a number of years, but for this, obviously uh, there'll be a lot more eyes on watching you because they are full year plan. It's on a Saturday. You know, when it, people watch a lot of movies on a Saturday, you know, but for each of you as actresses, uh, and I don't know all of your projects you've done, is this the biggest you've done where you're top of the call sheet and you have a lot to do? Was it ever daunting? Yes, this this was the 
the pinnacle <laughs> I've done so far. And it it was tough at times. I'm not even gonna lie. And I definitely had to lean on Layla and my other co-stars, you know, in moments of cracking for sure. Um, you know, and and but working with, you know, directors like Mario Van Peoples and and just being in in company with the women it's going to stretch you and it's going to pull you into places that you've never been. So, you know, sometimes it may feel like you're going to crack and, you know, just simultaneously combust, but that's growth, you know, and I appreciate this experience and I, I could not have prepared myself for, you know, being high on the call sheet and the demand that that, that that took, but I'm so grateful for the experience and I'm, I'm grateful for the people that I shared this experience with because that made it all the better. <laughs> Layla, you've been around for a good minute, you know, but a lot more people will see this. And when you're top of the call sheet, you know, it's like, and you know, you have to carry half the pages. <laughs> yeah, I mean, G definitely had her, her work cut out for her being number one on the call sheet. Um, because we're singing, dancing and acting, that makes this by far the most difficult role for me to play because we had to invest a lot of time a lot of effort we shot in Toronto so I think whether they know it or not that was one of the smartest things they could have done because it made me rely on Gigi more and we had to like build a, a friendship very very quick because it was like us against everybody else and not in the sense of it being negative but like we had to be there for each other support each other plenty of days I was like I'm over it. I don't want to dance anymore. I don't want to do this. And she would be supportive. And, 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 and I think all of that, when it comes to our entire cast, we were just really, really supportive. And we feel good about the project. This is major for me and G. And we're just, we just know that this is going, this is a great time, especially with a woman of color in, in the in office now, woman empowerment, so many female MCs like blossoming and really like taking the reins. And we were just paying homage to a group that opened doors for all of them to come through it. Mario Van Peebles made his film debut as a director 30 years ago with New Jack City. And he's still working today, obviously. You know, he directed this movie. I got to, I saw his son in this movie. You know, what did you take from him? You know, as, and you worked with other directors in the past, whether it be a TV series or a film. What did you pick up from Mario that you can take on to your next project based on doing this movie where you were able to do a lot, dance and act and all of this other stuff? Uh, for me, I would say, even on the day, don't be married to the material <laughs> because the director will look at it through, you know, the blocking and say, okay, I don't like it, let's do something else. And you have to, you know, adjust quickly you know, he, he definitely kept us on our toes in that regard from a performance standpoint, the, the acting material, and then the performance, you know, the, the singing, the dancing, you know, mind you, we're, we're building out a show on a stage this big, and he's like, okay, so this is what we got. Make it work. So definitely, I, I take uh, with me, you know, not being so married to the material and on the day, definitely being being ready to adjust. And mm -hmm. <laughs> Layla, what did you get out of it? To be very honest with you, I have not worked with a director as passionate as Mario. It's it's almost like we just we got we got to be around legends. You know what I mean? Like that's a Hollywood legend. And for us to see him every day and to work with him personally, um was definitely an accomplishment in itself to be able to say I work with Mario Van Peoples and I took his direction like I understand things better and as an actor sometimes the best training is on the job training like G is saying you have to adjust and you have to be flexible enough to 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 adjust and and to give the your director what he needs and I think we we definitely did that but there's no bigger honor than to say like I worked with him for an extended period of time not just like a tv show of like a week but we worked with him for months before I let you go where do we see you guys next 
you guys have anything else down the road that you were able to film during pre or after COVID or <laughs> during COVID? <laughs> I uh, booked a role in the series All American for season three, so I have a character that shall be popping up pretty soon in the next coming weeks. So, okay, Layla, and you can find me in my living room. I'm here every day, same time. <laughs> like no, you can find me. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can find me. Um, I did a series on UMC, which is now a new channel called All Black. Call for the Love of Jason. I did a Christmas movie produced by Dan Garcia. Um, and this was all during COVID. And um, right now, you know, we're both in LA. Um, we're shut down. So I don't, I don't know what's next. Either way, you have the fan base coming towards you when people start tuning in us on Saturday. You've seen the responses on social media. Everybody's looking forward to it. You know, just Hold your head high. Be proud of what you did. Obviously, I'm always there to support as actresses. Keep doing your thing, and uh, we'll talk down the road on your next projects. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care. Bye. <laughs>